Hancock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. They're all correct. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Cole. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. Twins they are, four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight bit. From earliest memory, they abused me in every way. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique, I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set me aside in assorted vitals they had collected over several weeks. My house and my breathing and so it was hours before the nurse found me, fairly alive. I had kicked a few servants to a corpse and others to slip it away, but not before I knew. You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. It is every citizen's is that duty so? to report in any case, you can't and dismiss action. Me. I went through the, the books this morning and found on you. five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. It's a nice old pub. That was all These beds have seen quite a bit of use, off. I can tell you. Plague spreads fast. My 
Master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. Oh, the gold Such laughter, and then they're singing, singing the old songs, making the arms. But that was for a happier time.
Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I send a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you?
Sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Have you, you lost, lost your, your mind? senses. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Stop at once! Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. 
I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holtby Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. In this time, anything in your pocket crisis, for a poor working man, Overseers I'll have tell. initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is chosen. Hey! You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Hey, 
blow off, Joffer. need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop. That's my motto. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cant. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. <laughs> You want to make some bootleg elixir for yourself? You go ahead. Can't have you catching the plague.
Hey. <coughs> what a mess, huh? Whole town's gone. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear.
ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Plague. Bunch of crap. Stupid goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pays for the whiskey? What's this? Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackshaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure. What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slatjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients, including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is.